Every event organizer wants the best show for his event. But what's motivating the artists to perform their best show ever? Hi, I'm Martin from Freestyle Talent. And today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics at this field. Supporting the artists at your event. I have been a two times world champion rope skipping with my team. We have performed in over 30 countries at some very cool events like the Formula One race in Abu Dhabi, the BBC Christmas show, Rise Up music video, the International Geneva Motor Show and so on and so on. During the years I have been working together with some awesome professional artists who are the best entertainers at their sport. Here are five things you as an event organizer can personally do which predict the artists will make an effort to perform the show of their life at your event. And I've experienced and double checked that those things really work with the freestyle talent performers. Here are the five things. The atmosphere of the event, a sufficient pay, fulfillment of the technical rider, a comfortable work environment and the trust in your performer. Okay, let's get started! The atmosphere of your event is the number one. Show is emotion. A small or a big event, it doesn't matter. If the atmosphere is right, you want to perform as an artist. A good connection with the client and the crowd is a big motivation factor to really go for it. And this good atmosphere you feel immediately. When you arrive as a performer at the venue, a warm welcome goes a long way. If everybody is respectful, trustful and professional, it has a good influence on the artist's spirit. The very next thing a performer wants is to see the location where the show will take place. If the technicians and the stage managers are relaxed, the artist will also be ready to prepare for the show without any stress. So, as an organizer, make sure you have somebody available to welcome the artist and to give a short venue tour. Sometimes it happens that the client is so stressed about the event that it will also make the performers very nervous. A bit of pressure is fine, but try to share with the artist why the show is so important for you, instead of making the artist feel threatened by your nervousness. This has a more positive effect and the artist will give his very best. Money is a big motivation factor. Nobody likes to be paid less than one's work is worth. Artists who have to invest a lot of time and energy developing that talent to provide a great show. It's not only about these 5 to 10 minutes at the stage. What I have noticed at events with smaller budgets is that in average the organizers of those events have higher expectations. For example, they ask the artist to give a longer show, but that's contraproductive. I believe if you have a smaller budget, it's better to work together with more local artists, but to treat them as stars and to let them perform at their personal best ever to give a great show. This is very simple. Respect the technical rider of the show. When I was still performing, I saw everything. Stitches that fell in pieces when we were skipping, water on the floor from a previous act, that made it slippery and very dangerous, bad sound systems, spotlight that was shining strongly in the eyes, I can go on and on for a long time. The bottom line is that technical riders are there to help, to perform the act in optimal conditions. And if for some reason something can't be provided, for example there are less square meters at the stage, then communicate this beforehand so the artist can adapt his show and rehearse up front. Most of them are good willing and will not cancel the show, but really I can't say it enough. Respect the rider. We all like a bit of comfort and privacy. It doesn't have to be very fancy, but a room where personal belongings can be stored safely 
enough drinking water and something to eat are the basics. Often an artist had to drive for three to five hours in a car to reach the venue. They may need to change clothes for the act and some space to warm up. If they have to share a small room with many artists, it's really hard to concentrate for a show. Once I organized a 24 hour skipping world record attempt in the gorgeous historical train station in Antwerp. Normally they close the doors for the night and in the morning a homeless man came to me and said, oh gosh, if I knew there was this cool event, I would not have had to sleep outdoors. What I tried to say is make your performers feel at home. It's as simple as that. It's also good to remember that most of the event organizers, as well as many clients, have no idea about performing on stage. What works and what does not work if it comes to make people laugh, scare them or give them any kind of emotion is something that the artists know the best. They are performing their shows over and over again. It's all about experience and professionalism. It does not end well if there are several production people who want to add something to the performance just before the show starts. I remember a client from years ago who told before the show to a freestyle footballer that he had to use a chair to make his act more spectacular. Of course, that did not end well. On the other hand, when the right people work together in a professional setting, everything excels. Like the one show we did for the cleaning company HEI, where the production event manager and the costume designer did an excellent job to push our percussion artists to a higher level, well suitable by the team of the event. That was totally awesome. I hope my video has given you some ideas for your next event. Are you an event organizer or an artist? What's your number one tip to event organizers to help the artists to perform at their very best? I'd like to hear from you. Bye!